When we last left the Avatar, he had left his microphone volume on too high, and thus rendered his video slightly staticky in the audio. But he'll have fixed it in this one. Welcome back to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft. When we last left off, Kikoskia here was mining some obsidian, exceptionally carefully. He needs a lot of obsidian. He also needs that not to happen. That's kind of annoying. He needs... 18 obsidian? Should do the trick. Because he's going to need some obsidian for later. I think there is about 18 obsidian here. Gotta save the obsidian that falls into the lava. And once we have the obsidian, we can have a nether gate. And with the nether gate, we can access the nether. And get access to eternally burning stuff. Which means you can finally have a fireplace. But that's really not the important part. The important part is making sure that we don't horribly die. We also need to find another fortress, so that we can start having villages on our tiny little settlement. Oh yeah, did you think I wasn't going to have those? Oh, if I can have villagers, folks, I will have villagers. Villages are fantastic. I love building villages. Okay, it probably would never get big enough to have a, uh, a golem on it, but uh, who cares about that? It's not like I'm ever going to uh, need a golem on the village. While we're here, actually... bucket of lava. You never know when you might need one of those. So, eight obsidian so far. Obsidian takes a while to mine. I think it's 15 seconds if you have a diamond pickaxe. It's over a minute if you don't. You don't even get the obsidian. So... The reason why I need more obsidian, really, is an, is an enchanting table, which would actually suck, because I don't have any books. I need a villager to get, just to get books. <laughs> or bookshelves. If I dig down there... Oh. Well, what do you know? Oops, it, no dot, no lava. Lava there, though. Also, what am I doing? I'm doing this without a bucket on hand. Because if you don't have a bucket on hand when you're doing all this, and lava, you know, like, hits you, I don't want to be the one to melt. Like that. See? Lava causes problems. Oh well, just four more pieces of obsidian, and then I never need to mine obsidian again. You're looking at a man who very, very jealously guards his diamond equipment. And only really likes making pickaxes. I'm not a person who enjoys making diamond swords or diamond armor or anything like that. I have been using villagers in my main world to actually get diamond equipment. It's very slowly. It's all quite poorly enchanted, but poorly enchanted is better than not enchanted at all. There we go. We are 
I'll just cover that up for prosperity. Make a little area for me to get back up. And we'll go make ourselves a... Portal to the nether. And we'll put the diamond pickaxe back. Because I have no need for a diamond pickaxe in the nether. And I have no need for these buckets. Because buckets cannot be used in the nether either. I'm still a bit annoyed about that video with the really bad audio for me, but... I can't re-record it because it's a hardcore Minecraft Let's Play. In fact, I can't re-record it because it's Minecraft. Is that a spider? It's up there. Oi! Hey! How much of that do I have now? Hey, that's enough for another piece of wool! Do, 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 do. How much more wool do I need? One more piece of wool, and then I can finally have a bed. I've got a diamond pickaxe before I have a bed. Hmm, there's something wrong with that. I probably need more. Oh, I'll just do a brief foray into the, uh... Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. Uh, how you doing? Not looking at you. Not looking at you. Is that a spider? That is a spider. Oi, come here. I want your silk. Fine. He's still there. He's still there. Hey, buddy. Just gonna cut down this tree. Don't mind me. enough? There's only one way to find out. Never remember. Yes! That is enough. So now that I have... Uh oh. Why is he suddenly gone aggressive? You can't get to me, so I'm going to murder you. I have no desire to faff around with you guys. Right. Now we have the annoying part, and the annoying part is grabbing lots of cobblestone. That's not the actual annoying part. The annoying part... <laughs> is the fact that I'm now going into the nether, in search of a nether fortress. Oh, this is not going... Oh, to have this not end well. Oh, wait, it's not going to end well. I don't even have... I don't have any feathers, so I can't make any arrows. Oh, this is not... Oh well, you only live once. Let's go. Where am I? I am here. Where here is, is another question. Welcome to the nether, as it loads in very slowly. I appear to be in a protected plateau. It also appears to be loading very slowly, as I predicted it would. 
There is zombie pigman. There's a ghast. Ghasts fire credit you. You avoid ghasts. Everyone avoids ghasts. Hmm. I'm looking for a nether fortress, and I never quite remember the best way to do it. Well, first you wait for the game to not lag so hard. And secondly, you don't pee off the zombie pigmen. You never pee off the zombie pigmen. Er. Well, I suppose I can put a torch here to indicate that this is the way I've been. Because torches are one of the few ways you can actually inform yourself that you have been to a location before. I don't know how high up I am. I don't know how high and close this place is. But what I do know is I've found some mushrooms. <laughs> And some glow stick. And some glow, uh, glow dust. I'll take a handful of those. And I'll take all of this. Because I'm a goit, I enter these people's realms, and without reason or justification, I steal everything. It's a pretty avatar -y thing to do, I have to be honest. <laughs> I'll leave you your mushrooms, though. Have fun with them. Well, the good news is, it does indeed look like the bottom. The bad news is, I don't see any nether fortresses anywhere nearby. I don't see any nether fortresses. Then again, I wasn't expecting to find one in the middle of nowhere. I was expecting to have to search. And search, I most probably will have to do. Oh, there goes that. Um... So yes, how did I get here again? Oh yes, that way. Ooh, other mushrooms. Well, I can now make mushroom stew if I feel so inclined. And trust me, I usually feel so inclined. It's a good source of food. So what about this way then? If I can't see another fortress that way, how about this way? Well, I see lava. And I'm not entirely sure if that's a good thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not. So let us say that we are not going to go that way. Let us say instead that we are going to try going this way. The game's There you are. Where are you? Hey buddy. I saved your skin. You could say I saved your bacon! Ah, 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 oh. I feel bad just saying that one. Well, so far no real luck. I haven't really found anything. But, 
head down here. Slowly. I have enough food. Food is not a problem. I'm looking for a very specific... Ooh, soul sand! Things that walk on it are slowed. You also use it to go nether warts. Which you can, by the way, only find in, in the nether fortress. And there's fire everywhere. Fire in the disco. Do I see a nether fortress anywhere? The answer to that question is I can't see Jack. He's not here. Very distinctive. Which is not bode well for the fact that I can't see one. It took a lot of exploring last time to find just one nether fortress. I suppose I can explore for a little longer. There's no harm will come of it. Apart from the gas, the nether is actually rather safe. I really want a chicken to spawn on my island. But nothing will spawn on my island, will it? No pigs, no sheep. Hey, buddy. Stop what you do. Oops. I keep missing. He has a long fire range. Wasting on this. I want to go back. This is going to be tricky, though. This guy is firing on me constantly. Move out the way. I'm trying to avoid incineration. Up I go. At least I hope I can get back up. Ah, oh, no, I should be able to. Need a torch here to signify that I've been here. I follow the torches. Not in a straight path, though. That leads to death. And lava. But mostly death. That lava's pretty dangerous. Folks, don't stick your feet in the lava. This is a Kagoskia disclaimer for your health. So, after one successful, well, completely unsuccessful foray into the nether, we return back to the land, to the mainland. Disheartened and saddened by my lack of anything. So until then, folks, I'll catch you later. See you then. Later.